Hello everyone and welcome to Film Sandwich. I'm Kid Ron Burgundy. I'm Mark. And we all know that Sony has the best autofocus in the industry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we, I already hear the Canon guys, whatever. We own a Sony, it's about Sony. So just hush up Canon guys. But well, we wanted to know how fast is it really? How fast is it? So on today's episode, we're gonna rocket power this Sony FX9. Hell yeah. So how we're gonna do it? I'm gonna tell you now. We're gonna take the FX9, this bad boy here, we're gonna strap it to the Dana Dolly. We got 40 feet of track, and then we're gonna strap these model rocket engines that are the most powerful that you can buy legally, and we're gonna send it, and it's gonna go fast. All right, the first thing we gotta do is we're gonna take this heavy ass FX9 and strip it down and make it nice and light. All right, guys, we're inside here with the Sony FX9, and I'm gonna break this thing down to make it a lot lighter. All right, I, you know, I was gonna break, take off the handle, but I have a special surprise for the handle. So I think that's as broken down as it's gonna get. I mean, it's a lot lighter without that V-mount battery. All right, it's about to get real. Whenever it gets real, I turn my hat on backwards, and we're gonna make stuff happen. So how we're gonna do it, take this two by four here, these drill bits, I'm gonna drill a couple holes for the big ass rocket engines right here. We're gonna strap it right to here with a couple of these awesome C-clamps right here and then we're gonna send it. Cut off any fingers, Mark. Rocket block. All right, we got the <laughs> FX9 <laughs> rigged out here onto the Dana Dolly. We got a couple GoPros to get some of the action. We got a wireless video so we can send it to the Atomos recorder to get the display information for the face tracking. And of course, we got a little Ninja Turtle on here to take a ride. Heck yeah, uh, super mounted. So we got some, uh, you know, zip ties here holding it down. You think that's enough? Eh, let me just add one more piece. <laughs> one more piece, of, we got some gaff tape. One more piece of gaff tape should Never do be it. too sure, just another one right on top of that one. There we go. That Gaff tape works great for everything. That's perfect. So uh, now we just need uh, somebody to stand out at the end of the track uh, with a face. Nope, not me, nope. Yeah. What? This, we're sending rocket-powered, high-speed velocity weight. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hey, look, somebody put a poster up. Oh, look, it's Ron's face. One of the many posters he has at his house of himself. I put him, like, right above my bed because I'm a sexy beast. Sexy beast. All right. I guess there's nothing yet to do to do it. Um, well, let's go ahead and put it on the track and uh, go ahead and launch it. Just in case things go south, we're prepared. Hope that works. I think we're ready. Uh, should we do an official countdown? Yeah, let's do it. All right, are you ready on your igniter there? Got it, yep. Got okay, the safety I'll, key in. I'll we're do good. the countdown, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. That was cool. That was, <laughs> that was cool. way cool. That was rocket-powered autofocus, baby. I told you the zip ties would work. That's rocket-powered autofocus. Woo! <laughs> Camera looked like it's okay. Is it okay? GoPro, I don't know. I don't know. That was badass. Shit, man. Look at that. What's it, is there a better way to do autofocus tests than rocket-powered? rocket pa like. We should rocket power autofocus test every camera. Every camera. Every camera. Send every us camera. your cameras and we'll do the rocket powered rocket autofocus power test. test. Oh my God. Dude, there's so much burnt resin in the block, in the wood block. Look at all the powder burn. <laughs> it survived. FX9 rocket powered autofocus test. It is amazing that this person here decided to put his FX9 on a Dana Dally and rocket power it. 
but we did it. We did it. And we didn't need to make an insurance claim or nothing. Nope, zip ties and gaff tape. Works great. Yep. So let's go ahead and play the footage. We're gonna play this at half speed here. 50% um, ready and go. Now look at that little tracking square there. Yeah, it's really doing pretty good. It Except just loses right it there, right there. Right there. That was the, the crash there. So right, like we can really frame by frame. Like it really holds it, like, look at that. It's right on the eye. And it's really starting to pick up a lot of speed here. We're probably going close to 20 miles an hour towards the end here. Yeah, so right about there, it's kind of losing it. It just, but it wants to see it jump forward. That box jumped again because it knew where it wanted to go. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, it ran out of track. I think it just got too close to the uh, the face there and just blah. Yeah. But who's running 20 miles an hour? I'm not running 20 miles an hour. I'm running like two. Yeah. So what did what did we what did we find out, find out here? We found out that the autofocus on the FX9 is awesome, and we're using a Sigma lens, which is awesome as well. Uh, well, that's how we tested our autofocus system on the FX9. Let us know how you test your autofocus down in the comments below. All right, well, that's it for us today on Film Sandwich. Please like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And don't smash your camera. And we'll see you in the next one.